Hello, greetings, welcome to my video. This video is not like many of my other videos. For a start, this is on both of my channels. I am the Crusader Historian and the Sage of Kalidor. I have two YouTube channels for different topics. I also have a third that I am working on. The third is more of a gimmick channel. If you guess what it is about in the comments, great job. I will comment to your answer with that particular channel so you can check it out if you want. Anyway, out of all the channels, only the Crusader Historian involves itself with politics. And history. Sage of Kalidor is a rare occurrence when something happens in the political sphere. Or should I say Sage of Kalidor only gets involved in, in politics when something happens in the political sphere that is threatening that channel. So as a quick so, so as a quick recap, the Crusader historian covers politics and history. Sage of Kalidor, Sage of Kalidor covers fantasy. So, who is this guy, you ask? Who is the, who am I? Who am I, the creator of these channels? Well, I am just a standard guy who loves history, Lord of the Rings, Warhammer, God, Dungeons and Dragons. I play video games. Mostly Warhammer 3, Total War, and Crusader Kings 3. I go to church. I went to Utah State University and University of Maine. I love my games that I play. I love my friends and my family. I write, I read, I draw, I take walks. In short, for all of you who watch this video, I share at least one thing in common with you. But let's be honest, this world has gone to hell in a handbasket and it might get worse. Let us look at the disasters disasters we have been having. Possible war with, war with Russia and China, war in Israel, a bad economy, crime running all over the place, an elitist government that has not fixed any of this, these problems. As a matter of fact, this elitist pr government all these problems happened under their watch. And furthermore, let's look at what has happened to our proud culture. We have losers in charge of the things we enjoy. Rings of Power is a disaster and a scar on Tolkien's legacy. The Star Wars sequel trilogy is terrible. They have removed the unique characteristics of various races and species in Dungeons and, Dra Dungeons and Dragons. And these franchises are not creating any new ideas to enjoy anything. It is like cut and paste a new idea, put it with a new spin. And anyone who wants to create something good or give an honest critique, they are dismissed as worthless. Those who hold on to the power have listened to dangerous individuals that champion causes and for quotas for brownie points for the regime. We have entered a period where some elements of the government force the arts to obey on threat of persecution from the mob. This is a form of state-sponsored terrorism, I would argue. Furthermore, lawfare is used against opposition and using the power of the state against political opponents. I mean, the Mar-a-Lago raid, for example. What kind of an action is that? We no longer live in a world where it is 
innocent until proven guilty. Let me remind you, this was what our founding fathers created this country on. Now it is guilty until proven innocent. For example, my channels could be shut down for saying that I don't like rings of power. Never mind if I have good ideas to satisfy their quote unquote diversity quota while honoring the lore of token. I will be blacklisted as a hater of non-whites even if I have good friends who say otherwise. The only way I can get back into their good graces is if I'm forced to denounce myself. Something I will never do. Now, now we, with this election coming up in only a few days, we have one last chance to stop this or at least delay it. Tim Poole, a podcast news host who is invested in politics and the culture war, has been talking a lot about these issues. Recently, he posted a video. It is in the link below. And he said something I think you should hear. Right on the screen is a screenshot of where he st I want you to start this video. And please watch it until the, the very end. So pause this video, go to the video in the link below, and start at this point. At most, it is 19 minutes. If you must go a bit before, like about two minutes, three minutes before, go ahead. And watch this video and finish it before going back to this video. Okay, good. You are back. Tim Pool is right. This is the election that will decide it all. Electoral college should not be enough. Let us go for popular victory for Donald Trump. Like what Tim Pool said, remember Mel Gibson in The Patriot? When he said his character took the American flag and said, hold the ranks and charge. It only takes one. Charge. All of you. Charge and vote and have courage. Charge and don't look back. Ride now. Ride to victory. Ride to liberty. Ride for all you hold dear. Do not fear death. Do not fear persecution. Instead, show courage and hope for a better future for those who follow you, including the next generation. Have courage and charge. Remember the great stories of heroes in your youth. Remember those moments you feel and use it. Use it to fight for what is right. Vote. Vote even with the odds against you. Vote for win. Trump victory 2024, win the electoral college in the popular vote. That vote, that way you can look at your children and grandchildren and not be ashamed. I am the crusader historian and the sage of Calidor, and I will vote. Even with the odds against me, I invite you to have courage and charge with me. Let us be heroes today. One last charge. Let us make it one to remember.